good evening. Okay, guys. Hi, it's Marguerite Ashton. Um, I wanted to drop a quick little video regarding the first miniature that um, I completed so that you can kind of understand when I'm talking about the difference between doing one of the bigger ones, which is literally from scratch, versus the miniatures. See? Um, the miniatures have a lot of everything available you just put everything together um pillows for example if you look here uh let's see yeah let's see okay look my pillows you know these kinds of things that took a lot of time and you're gluing and you're kind of putting everything together the outside you know one of the cute one of my favorite parts here if i can get them look at the doggy and you're putting these plants together the french doors the doorknobs the chandelier um the windows and stuff like that and one of the cool things that i do like is some of the miniatures come with just lighting some come without and some come with music boxes. Well, this one comes with lighting. So let's see if I can get this on for you real quick here. Um, I have to double check as I try to remember what was the name of this one. And I'm sure I can find it. There it is. So see, maybe you can see the lighting there it is and i literally had to construct the lamp with the wiring and everything together it was really oh, it was fun even the curtains just trying to put these things together and that was my first miniature but it was a lot of fun the little petals and stuff was just a, an, an addition stuff because uh, it's something can you see the petals by the floor it was something that i just thought was cool and i wanted to add it because it was my little touch. So, what I wanted to suggest is for those who are deciding to get into working with dollhouses, that maybe starting with miniatures, there is a lot of detail with the miniatures because they provide everything for decorating and, ex I mean, just everything. How you put the roof together, the skylight, all, all of the stuff, the pictures, everything in here, the details. And it takes a lot of time, but it is a lot of fun. But it's actually a lot of practice for taking that next step to doing the um, bigger models. So that would be tip number five is to maybe i mean hey it depends on how you're feeling i guess if you want to jump right into the bigger scales for working with dollhouses oh my gosh please send um a photo and let me know how it how it went where you just you that was the first thing you did but i starting with um dollhouses when i became interested i started with the miniatures and i still have several miniatures to go which i'm excited i will be doing those as well and um this was my little mini masterpiece so i had fun very first one i will put some other videos together to show you the other ones and stuff like that and how they all came out i hope everyone's doing well take care